Hey, I'm Nadine Pitt from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the real reason why he treats you like crap. I think my thoughts about this topic might rock you a little, so stay with me right to the end as what I'm about to share with you will make sense very soon. Firstly, this is probably a very good time to share with you that I personally know how difficult it can be or feel to find love, but not any kind of love, the real deal, the compatible type. I know as time goes by, the harder it feels that you'll ever meet someone who's truly a match. And when someone feels like this, guess what can happen? Many women can lose their confidence, their sense of self, which can see them making poor or misaligned dating choices. I've been there so I know how it feels and I also know the real cost or toll this can take on you overall. And even though dating the wrong man can seem like a better option than not having anyone at all, I can assure you it's not. When you're needy or even desperate to no longer be single, desperate to be coupled up, desperate for love, many people end up being in unhealthy relationships. And voila, that's why smart, funny, gorgeous women can end up in relationships with men who treat them like crap. So how does this really happen? Most women in crappy relationships know that it's not healthy or truly fulfilling, but this knowing doesn't make them leave, they often stay. Is this desperation alone that drives this? Well, yes and no. Pretty much everything we do comes down to how we perceive our worth and what we believe we are worthy of, which means the reason a woman gets treated like crap by a man or by anyone is because she is treating herself like crap first. Unless you're in a relationship with a sociopath and you've been completely brainwashed over time, no man can make you stay with him unless you want to be there. This is your choice and if you date someone who treats you poorly, then you allowed this, which means you created this because you've condoned it. So many women blame men or believe that the man will one day change. They spend so much energy wondering why he treats her so poorly. They wonder if a man, any man, will ever treat her right. She wonders why she stays. She can't believe she keeps going back for more. And yet, as I said before, she never leaves. So here's the clincher. A man doesn't change unless you change, period. Until you change your approach, change how you view relationships, change how you communicate your needs, change how you treat yourself, change how you perceive your worth, no one else will change. Well, rarely. In fact, this is what inspired me to create my romantic love syndrome quiz. This quiz is brilliant and it shines the light on the sneaky beliefs and mindsets you might have that are stopping you from experiencing big yummy love. You see, the man you're with right now could be perfect for you, except you don't value yourself enough to require to be treated with mindfulness and kindness. We teach people how to treat us. Sure, he might not have the skills to be in a loving and intimate relationship, and yet, as I said, we teach people how to treat us, and women are brilliant at rewarding a man's poor behavior. If you think you could be struggling with one of these sneaky love blocks, please find a link to my quiz right below in the description. So if you want a man to love you tenderly, to treat you like the beautiful and deserving woman that you are, then you need to stop treating yourself like crap so that he stops treating you like crap. If you value kindness, then be kind to you by saying no to things that don't feel good, that don't bring you joy, that go against what you value. People treat themselves poorly or like crap in a myriad of ways. Sure, some people more so than others, and yet we're all able to live out of integrity from what food we eat, how much alcohol we consume, comparing ourselves to others, not making time for activities we love, or not seeing special friends or valued family members. Unhealthy self-talk, all of these kinds of actions are unloving in some way and feel crappy, and we do this to ourselves. I remember a very painful period in my life when I was dating a man who really wasn't healthy for me. Even though I was not a doormat per se, I would often express what didn't feel good to me in the relationship, I kept going back for more. I had seen the best of him and was hoping that one day I'd see this loving and kind side in him again. 
Though those moments were always fleeting. The majority of the time he was hot and cold and breaking agreements. I was often upset and feeling anxious, but it wasn't his fault. I was allowing it. I was not being kind to me. In fact, this relationship inspired me to create my Never Lose Him program. So if what I've shared in this video resembles your current life or past, then check out Never Lose Him. I uncover why women fall for the wrong men and why they allow these men in their lives. I help women to rise above the confusion, get clarity, and bring joy back into their lives. I share how to show up with men in a way that's captivating while also empowered so that you never again feel unloved and undervalued with a man or with anyone. I call this the LIPS method and it's a game changer. This program is filled with so many amazing learnings and skills that will make finding and keeping love a breeze. So check out the link to never lose him in the description below. There you have it. The real reason why your guy ain't loving you how you want to be loved. Don't blame him and don't blame yourself either. Rather, do the healing and start living from a place of self-love and honor. Once you have a few new mindsets and skills up your sleeve, you'll start to feel confident and be able to experience the most loving and connected partnership with the kind of man you truly want in your life. Now, before you go, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button to get notified of my next video, and please share this video with at least one friend. So many women find themselves in this kind of situation, and you could be the guiding light to resolve this often repetitive issue for them. Why not share this on Facebook or Instagram and tag me there at Nadine Piet so that I can connect with you. It's been a great honor to have you here with me. I value you and look forward to seeing you at my next video.